So I already suck at this vlogging thing and now I get why doing vlogmas is so hard and why people don't really do daily vlogs It takes so much time you guys. I'm just so busy and I know like everyone says that they're so busy But really I have so many things that I want to accomplish before the year's over that my week is literally consumed by work gym and more work so I don't know how we're gonna make this work. Maybe I'll do it like on the weekends only because the weekends is the time that I get a little bit of time to myself. Um, speaking of getting some time to myself, I'm late for my nail appointment. I have to go get my nails done because I look ratch. Like this is not acceptable. Um, that's how busy I am that I don't even have time to get my nails done during the week. I'm wearing a hat today to conceal my hair because I'm getting my hair done later. I'm undergoing a transformation. I was kind of inspired to make a change and when I need a change, I usually change up my hair. I also got my eyebrows done even though I said I wouldn't. Again, I needed a change and I feel like a girl again. So that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm late for my nail appointment, so let's go. So I have an appointment in like an hour and I have to drive all the way to the city. If you're my friend and you know me in real life, then you know that when I get bored, I change my hair or some drastic change. And that's what we're doing today. I am so excited to finally switch things up. So let's go. All right guys, so let's have a little chat. Let's talk really quick. First of all, excuse the mess. I literally don't have the mental capacity to even think about doing my bed or cleaning my room right now because I'm having a freaking crisis. So I left off with you guys walking into the salon going to get my hair done. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this ridiculous hat, hold on just a second, we're gonna get to it. So first of all, the Snap fam already knows what's up. So once again, you guys should be following me on Snapchat. And just to get you guys up to speed, I'm gonna play for you my Snap story so that I don't have to repeat myself over and over again. So let me show you guys what happened to me yesterday first of all. But you're probably wondering why I haven't posted um, the after picture of my hairstyle of what it looks like. Well, this is it, girl. This is my new hairdo. And I'm trying to remain calm right now. And all I could do is laugh for some reason, but I really want to cry. I really don't know how I'm remaining so calm right now. But, you guys, my hair is so fucked. Like, it is so, so, and I'm taking full responsibility for it because I knew I shouldn't have changed hairstylist, and I did, and this is what I got. I got fucked. I'm not even going to show you the results because that's how embarrassed I am about it, but I am vlogging about it, um, so you'll have to watch my vlog if you want to see what I look like. You know, I never thought this would happen to me. I always hear horror stories, but I never thought that it could happen to me, and here I am. But you guys, it's okay. Have no fear. I'm getting this fixed tomorrow. My OG hairstylist, I literally hit him up and I was like, dude, I need you tomorrow. And he was like, girl, come through. Like, you cheated on me, but it's okay. I forgive you. That, like, he is the real MVP. Sean, you are the real MVP. Okay, so now you've seen kind of the disaster. I was literally walking around my house with a towel yesterday because I literally could not stand to see myself in the mirror. And now I'm wearing this hat. I just wanna say that I'm not bashing the salon that I went to. I'm, I'm not bashing the girl that did my hair. Like I said in my snap story, I take full responsibility for the way my hair turned out. I think like maybe I wasn't specific enough and I, I've i never had a bad hair experience when I go get my hair done. Like even if I get a haircut, I've always had the mentality like that they cut my hair too short it'll grow back its hair if they color it a tad bit darker or lighter than I asked it's fine I can always fix it like it's freaking hair right however you guys know me and I'm such a girly girl and I take so much pride in like having my hair and my nails done and like having my makeup on point sometimes and you know like it it messes with your self-esteem when you don't feel good and <laughs> when you don't feel like yourself and I know that's so shallow because some people aren't even lucky enough to have hair so I think that's why I always have the mentality to be like do whatever 
whatever you want like I don't care I'm open to whatever I'll make it work you know but this time was different so first of all I'm gonna show you guys the inspiration pictures that I showed the girl that did my hair I'll show you some cutaways or something and I asked, you know, I wanted to go like an auburn deep red color is what I said to her. I still wanted to be wearable because I do have a corporate job and I can't show up with like crazy hair. And also I'm a little bit more on like the conservative side. Like I would never walk around with like green hair. More power to you if that's like your style and you have the confidence to rock it. But personally, that's just not my style. So anyway, I'm gonna have to make this quick because I actually have to go get my hair fixed. So I showed her the picture. She was like, yeah, you know, great. I'm gonna balayage, whatever the hell it's called I'm gonna do that for you so that when the color starts to grow out you're not committed to getting your hair done right away and I was like great like the lower maintenance that it is the better for me because I live such a busy life that I don't always get to go to the salon like to do my hair right like I blow dry and do my hair myself at home okay great so you know she made it sound like she knew what she was doing so I was like okay I'm not I'm just gonna like kick back relax and let this girl do my hair <sighs> you guys so she basically balayaged my hair so she put bleach on and just painted it on and that part was great like she definitely looked like she knew what she was doing and I was like okay fine then she takes me over to the sink to wash all of the bleach out and she starts she's like okay so now I'm gonna apply the color girl that's when it all went crazy she applied the color I sat there for like 10 minutes with it then she applied some toner and like sealed it and when she brought me to the chair I don't know if I was like in shock or I was just trying to like process it but she was like okay so like what do you think about the color and I was like yeah automatically I was like did I like not give her specific enough instructions did I like f up like I, I don't know like I immediately I was blaming myself for it and I was like you know what this is all my fault or maybe I, I don't know my colors like I don't know whatever long story short she like straightened my hair she even looked uncomfortable herself like she didn't know if I liked it and I wasn't like like usually I'm always like oh my god I'm obsessed with it oh my god you did such a good job you nailed it but I literally was so quiet I didn't know what to say and in that moment like as an artist myself I always feel a type of way about critiquing someone else's art right and I didn't like I didn't want to make her feel bad because I kind of gave her free reign to do whatever she wanted I was like whatever you think looks good with my skin tone that shade of red is what I want so I was just kind of like yeah yeah it's gonna take some getting used to like whatever and I'm also not a conflictive person don't like confrontation whatsoever like I'll avoid it at all costs so I walked out of the salon really unhappy immediately text my sister like dude I'm gonna cry I, um, I look terrible like it looks awful and I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm literally two seconds away from going to the to Dwayne Reed and like getting box dye to just diet myself at home tonight because I literally can't look at myself <sighs> and so all of that to say um, I'm a very impulsive person like when I set my mind to something Friday I decided that I was going to dye my hair and I was like I was determined to make it happen this weekend and I had a really good experience at the salon previously they had kind of like fixed a balayage that I got previously and I wasn't super impressed with it but again like even that was better than this so I was like you know what let me go back the hairstylist that did my hair previously is no longer at heroin so I was like let me just give someone else a try <sighs> the moral of the story you guys is if you have a good hairstylist stick with them because they will not do you wrong you know basically if it ain't broke don't fix it like there was nothing wrong with my hairstylist in fact I love him and he always nails everything that I want I just wanted to try something new and I was like determined to make it happen right then and there so without further ado I am going to reveal to you guys my hairdo my strawberry blonde hair oh my god I can't believe I'm about to do this So this is it you guys this is what I have this is what I'm working with and I know like to some people this is like cool or like normal but this is just so not me like look at this And then when I got home, my sister examined it and looked through it more. And she says it's like really stripy in the back. So this is what I'm working with. This looks nothing like my inspiration pictures. It's nothing like what I wanted. Like she literally just did whatever the hell she wanted. And my hair is strawberry blonde. Like I literally look like watermelon. And it's like so unnatural too. Like I also said make it as natural as possible because... <sighs> anyway. Um. So this is it. What do you guys think? Is it as bad as I told you guys? And if my face isn't done with this hairstyle... 
oh my god you don't even want to know it looks so bad all right guys so this is it i'm going to go to the city now to see my hairstylist sean and hopefully he can remedy this situation Ta-da! So this is the end result, you guys. This is what I was left with after having to dye my hair for the second time. I was trying to document the whole process of dyeing my hair with Sean, who's my usual hairstylist, but I just wasn't in the right um, state of mind, and I was just trying to like relax. Okay, so when I went to Sean, I showed him the original pictures that I showed, the bad hairstylist, um, like the inspiration pictures, and he was like, how did she get this from that photo and I was like girl I really don't know but this is what this, this is what she did so how do we fix it so basically he was like I don't want to re-bleach your hair because it's gonna be super super damaged so let's just do a quick fix situation and then eventually it'll fade and it'll get maybe the color that you wanted um I don't know I kind of suck at hair stuff but basically he added color and tried to correct because as you guys saw it was like a strawberry pinky orangey color so he tried to correct as best as he could without making my hair super super dark which is what I didn't want so it's kind of like a mahogany color which again is a lot darker than what I originally wanted so this is it this is my end result my hair thankfully doesn't feel too damaged and I did a hair mask yesterday and I'm gonna do one again on Sunday I'm just so glad to have a natural hair color again you guys it did such a number on my self-esteem but I'm back and I'm gonna work with this for a minute I don't know we'll see how this goes I just wanted to end this vlog I know I left a lot of you guys hanging and a lot of you have been on snapchat asking me like what does your hair look like i finally posted a picture of what i look like now on instagram on friday because i was hiding for a while just take some getting used to you know so yeah if you like this video and you enjoyed my hair tragedy definitely give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys